Okay, so now we are recording. Now we are recording. And to start this video conference, I want to ask you, how should they going? Right? How are you doing today? Okay, go to the comment section and post your answer, please. Go to the comment section and post your answer. I'm going to read all of you. Mm -hmm. How are you doing today? Alexandra, Carolina, Duban, Gabriela, Ivalice, Jose. Okay, Ivalice said so so. Uh, well, at least you're not doing bad. <laughs> uh, Gabriela, uh, hello, I'm pretty good, very good. I'm happy you're doing good, Gabriela. Let's see. Who else? Catherine, Milka. Jose Vargas, I'm doing well, just doing some homework for the week. Okay, perfect. That's great that you're doing your homework, Jose. Rocio, William, how are you doing? Tell me how you're doing. Come on, everybody, post your answer on the comment section. Everyone. Elka, well, Carolina, I'm working, but I'm okay. Oh, I understand, Carolina. Nice that you have a job. I'm doing great. Thank you, mm -hmm. says Milka. I'm happy you're doing great, Milka. Uh, Rocio, great. Very good. I'm great as well. See, somebody else? Okay, got one new message. Alexander, I'm excellently. Perfect, Alexandra. I'm happy you're doing perfect. Milena, uh, well, pretty good. I'm pretty good, said Milena. Catherine, I'm going well. Um, Rachel, hello, great. Enrique, I'm sick and starving because I haven't eaten. Why, Enrique? You have to eat something. You have to eat something. If you're sick, you gotta eat, nigga. If not, you're gonna get worse. So, Duvan, I'm fine, thanks. Very good, Duvan. Okay, perfect. So, I'm happy most of you are doing okay, right? For the ones who are not doing that great, that okay, remember that, you know, bad moments disappear. Good moments as well, right? So, that's life, okay? Remember that. Just keep on, keep on, right? Never stop. Never stop. Uh, William said, I'm excited to be here with all of you. Oh, that's great to know, William. That's great to know. Okay. So right now that I know that you, the most of you are doing okay, I'm going to start sharing the presentation for today's class. Uh, let me do just a couple of movements here with my computer, and then we're going to start. Okay. So today, my friends, we are starting unit number two, okay? Uh, let me see here. Participants, two people were waiting in the view. Okay, let me just accept some somebody here. It's two niggas that are coming a little bit late. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you, my friends, that today we are starting unit number two, okay? And we are going to be talking about types of paragraphs. That's going to be the topic for this unit, the main content for this unit, okay? We're going to be talking about different types of paragraphs. So the last time or well, in a previous class, you told me what is a paragraph for you. I remember that. So right now we're going to go deeper into that matter, into that situation, into that topic, okay? So you know my name, that's my name, and you know which course is this, right? Reading and writing techniques in English. So now, and we're going to start this new topic, this new unit with the process and illustration paragraph, right? These are the first two types of paragraph that we're going to be talking about, that we're going to be practicing, etc. okay? Course goal is the same. And these are the contents. 
First of all, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Then where I'm going to explain you what is an illustration paragraph, and I'm going to give you a format and an example as well. And then I'm going to explain what is a process paragraph, and I'm going to give you a format and examples as well. Okay, that's going to be the, the, the dynamic for this class, okay? So first of all, I got this question here. What is an illustration paragraph? Okay, illustration paragraph. And I want you to tell me what comes to your mind when you, when you, when you listen to this. Illustration paragraph. What's that? What comes to your mind? Post it on the comment section, please. Illustration paragraph. What do you think it is? An illustration paragraph. Give me your answer on the comment section. Don't look it up on the... Uh, on the yeah, tell me, tell me. I think it's a text with um, image. Images. Okay, very good. Very good, Milka. Uh, a page with images. Okay, that, that sounds like sounds like that, right? Because illustration, like images, right? It sounds like that. Thank you, Milka. Somebody else? I mean, don't look it up on Google, please. Don't search that on Google, okay? Just give me your opinion. What do you think when you listen to this phrase, illustration paragraph? What do you think it is? Milka already gave me her opinion, and that's good, right? Somebody else? Um, yes, Rachel? I think it's a set of sentences that describe something or a topic and that sometimes makes it. Okay, like, like making a description with the topic you said, Rachel. Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect, Rachel. That's good. Somebody else? An opinion about illustration paragraph? Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a graphic uh, with the order of the paragraph. All paragraph, I think. It's like a graphic. Uh, with the order of the paragraph. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, well, now uh, with that information that your classmates already gave us, and I, I mean, when I when I listen to illustration paragraph, I mean, I think of images as well as Milka, right? Images. But is that an illustration paragraph? So we don't know yet, right? So we are going to know that in a moment. Let me just continue here and I'm gonna move this to the next slide. And I got this other question. What is a process paragraph? Uh, I, I'm sorry, give me just one moment. Milka, Milena, I'm sorry, said something here. Wow, wow, a lot of you. William said, I'm uh, okay. Enrique, it's a paragraph to show up at and a specific thing and its characteristics. Very good answer, Enrique. Dice Jose Vargas, a text that describes a topic deeper. Very good, Jose. Alexandra, it is a specific illustration of something. Good, Alexandra and Milena. An illustrative paragraph allows writers to write about a specific topic related to their life giving their own opinions and clear examples. For example, you can write about your favorite place. That's a good example, Milena, that's a good example. Okay, so that's an illustration paragraph, right? All of what you said, that's an illustration paragraph. But let me go deeper here. Now, um, tell me what is a process paragraph. Tell me what is a process paragraph. You can do it on the comment section, you can, uh, turn on your microphone as well, if you if you please, if you want. Okay, let's participate. What is a process paragraph? What comes to your mind when you listen to that process paragraph? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You can participate on the comment section or you can turn on your microphone as well. Process paragraph. Uh, me? Yes. Well, I think that the process paragraph is one that allows us to know how to do something. It shows the process by it following shows. certain steps. Okay, very good, Milena. So show us how to do something 
and show us how, how to follow a process to do something. Hey, that's yes. a good example, For Milena. example, you can, hmm? choose, you can choose to make a K. How Very to make good. a K. Very good. So that's a process, right? Making a K is a process. So you can write, write it down on a process paragraph. That's very good. Very good. Okay. Let me just read uh, your classmates right here. Okay, Rocio, it's explaining something in, in a step by step. Very good. Idea, Rocio. Jose Vargas, a text that describes a series of steps. Very good, Jose. Carolina, is the order of ideas. Very good, yeah. Marta, in my opinion, it's like the process of writing about any anything, something, instructions, or follow a routine. Very good, yeah, you have to follow a routine. You have to follow the process, right? That it's the same as a routine. So yes, that's correct. Enrique, it's a paragraph that contains the steps to make something. Very good. Okay, all of your opinions are correct. So in a process paragraph, we are presenting the process for doing, for doing something, okay? We're presenting a process for doing something. That's what we do in an illustration and a process paragraph. Um, a process paragraph, a process, a step, in sequence, connection, a chronological order, said Alexandra. Yeah, it has to follow an order. It has to follow a process. Very good. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the next slide. And I got here, I'm gonna make myself smaller, and I got here, illustration paragraph, right? And it says, uh, can, somebody, can somebody help me read this slide, please? Mm -hmm. Volunteers. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, illustration paragraph. The illustration paragraph allows writers to examine one element from his or her life and explain his, her likes or dislikes regarding these elements by using clear and specific examples. This element can be anything such as a specific place, a specific team, a person, a subject, a job, an animal, etc. This type of paragraph allows writer to understand his or her feelings about his or her written subject. Very good. Very good. I really like the Milka. Okay, it was perfect. Let me just say something else uh, about this, right? So we're talking about an illustration paragraph. And what it says, it says that it allows writers to examine one element from his or her life, right? And explain his or her dislikes and lies, okay? So what are we explaining? Lies and dislikes regarding to the topic, okay? So, um, and it can be anything. and. Uh, we got here some examples like uh, a place, a specific thing, a person, a subject, a job, an animal, etc. Right? So this illustration paragraph, right, allows writers to understand his or her feelings. So we're talking about feelings about the subject. So the subject is the main topic, right? The main topic. So what are we doing? What are we gonna do in this kind of paragraph, in this illustration paragraph? We're going to write about why something, uh, about the lies and dislikes that we have about a place, a thing, a person, whatever, right? And we are going to write, we are going to give some examples, right? You have to provide some examples about it and as well, explain your feelings about it, right? That's an illustration paragraph. You are going to illustrate everything. Not with a picture, but with your words. You are illustrating something. But it's not as describing, okay? It's not as describing. It's a little bit different. I'm, I'm going to give you an example later on. Let me just clear up everything here. And let's move on to the next slide. Okay, can somebody else help me read this? Okay, somebody else. Not Milka. Milka already participated a lot. So thank you very much for that, Milka. But I need somebody else. Mm -hmm. 
I can do it. Yeah, go ahead, Gabo. Okay, number one, tell you take time. Be sure to take time and think about the one element that you want to write about. Take some time to think of three things to tell why you like or dislike this element. Furthermore, be sure to think of a specific example that will support your three reasons. Very good, Gabo. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do is think of the element, right? Think of the main topic, okay? Because we're going to write about it. So think of the topic you want to write about it. That is the first step, right? Now, then we are going to, and this is very, very important, right? What Gabo read is very important. We're going to select three things. Three things to what? To tell why you like or dislike that topic, that element, that subject, okay? So three things in which you are going to say why you like or dislike the topic, okay? Now, furthermore, be sure to think of a specific examples, okay? Now we think of three things and then a specific examples for what? For supporting those three reasons, those three things, right? So we're going to think of three things and then we're going to think of three examples about related to those things, okay? That's what we're gonna do. That's what we are going to do here. Now, let me, let me give you an example and be focused on what I'm going to say just now in a moment, okay? Be focused on this. I got here the step some of the steps to write an illustration paragraph. Uh, to, the, to the left, right, in this part, format, when, where we got format, just one sec. Where we got here, formats. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me just one moment, I'm having <laughs> a little bit of a trouble here. Okay. In this part, we got follow this format, right? Take a look to that part, to the, to the left side of, of, the, of the screen, okay? So follow this format. We got letter A, letter B, and letter C. Okay, in letter A, we have five, one clear topic, okay? Only one topic, one topic sentence that mentions the element you are going to write about. Uh, can you turn the microphone off, please. I don't know who has it on. Wilbert, what do you ask? Turn, it, turn it off, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we have write one clear topic sentence that mentions the element. Okay. You have done this before, right? When you when you were writing, um, when, when when you were doing the outline, right? And when you were writing the the essay, so you were doing this, right? writing a topic sentence, like the main idea. It's the same, topic sentence or main idea, okay? It's the same. So write one clear topic that mentions the element. So it means the main topic you are, you are going to write about. You are going to write about, and be sure to include three keywords or phrases, right? Three keywords or phrases that explain why you like or dislike the element that you are writing about. So this is the same as writing an outline. It's the same, right? But you are going to do it only with one paragraph. You are not going to write five paragraphs this time, only one, okay? Only one paragraph. You write, first of all, the topic sentence that includes the main elements or the main topic, and then you write three keywords or three phrases. In those keywords or phrases, you have to say why you like, if you like the, the matter, the subject, or why you dislike, if you dislike the subject, right? Now, that is the first step. Now, letter B says, write one sentence that explains your first keyword. Okay, take a look to this. Write one sentence, one, only one, 
that explains your first keyword. Which keyword? These three keywords that we wrote here, okay? From your topic sentence, okay? Then you are going to write one or two sentences that provide a clear and a specific what? And a specific example, okay? So you write something to describe your keyword, and then you write one or two sentences to give us an example that support the explanation of your first keyword, okay? Take a look to this, my friends. Take a look to this. I'm gonna give you the example. In the other side, in the right side, so in this, in this side of the screen, you have the example. Now we are going to check it out now, okay? We got letter A and we got letter A right here. What are we gonna do on letter A? We're going to write a topic sentence that mentions the main element, right? So it says, my favorite place to vacation is Maui, Hawaii. Okay, this is the topic sentence. This is the topic sentence, right? And this is the element. The element is vacation to Maui, Hawaii. That is the element, okay? My favorite place to vacation is Maui, Maui, Hawaii. So that we have the topic sentence that mentions the main elements, okay? Now we are going to write three keywords or phrases. It says, because it has first, number one, relaxing dishes. Number two, great weather. And number three, people are friendly okay we got the three keywords or the three phrases okay now we are we are going to analyze letter b right okay it says write one sentence that explains your first keyword from your topic sentence now okay which is the first the first keyword relaxing beaches right that is the first keyword now we are going to explain that in letter b it says First of all, Maui has the most relaxing dishes, which, okay, we got that. A keyword that explains uh, the first, uh, the, as, I'm sorry, a sentence that explains the first keyword. First of all, Maui has the most relaxing dishes, which helps people clear their minds from all stress. That is letter B. Now we are going to analyze letter C. It says, write one or two sentences that provide a clear and a specific example that supports the explanation of your first keyword. Now, we are working with the first keyword right now. Remember, this is only the first keyword. This is only relaxing dishes, okay? So I'm going to provide the example. For example, during the year, I live in California, which is very stressful from school and work. However, in the summer, I am on the beaches of Maui, okay? When I am on these beaches, I listen to music and just stare, into, stare out into the water and no thoughts enter my mind. Okay, all of this, all of this is the example, all of this from here to here. All of that is the example. So for example, so we are talking about relaxing beaches, right? During the year I live in California, which is very stressful from school and work. So I'm like illustrating something. I illustrating everything, right? So I'm saying, okay, California is stressful from school and work, okay? It's very stressful. That's what I'm, I'm illustrating that. Then I'm saying, however, in summer, so I'm illustrating, I'm illustrating summer in California. I am on the beaches of Maui, okay? I'm saying that I go to the beaches of Maui. When I am on these beaches, so I'm illustrating what happens when I am on those beaches. Remember that, this is an illustration paragraph. I'm illustrating. So when I am on those beaches, I listen to music and just stare out into the water and not that enter my mind. So that's my example. Okay. I don't know if you have questions about this just now. Do you have questions?
Ladies and gentlemen, do you have questions? Okay, if there are no questions, let's move on because this is still the first paragraph, okay? Remember, we got here letter A, B, and C. Now I'm going to move to letter D, E, and F, okay? This is the first paragraph. So what are we gonna do in letter D? It says, using, using a transitional phrase, write one sentence that explains your second keyword. Now we are done with the first keyword, right? We're done with that. Now we are going to continue with the second keyword, okay? We are going to write a sentence that explains the second keyword. That is letter D. And now letter E, it says, write one or two sentences of a clear and a specific example that supports your explanation on your second keyword, okay? So this is basically, we are repeating the same process, right? We are repeating the same process. Now, what are we doing? Okay, we are writing a sentence explaining the first, uh, the, the second keyword in letter D. And on letter E, we are writing the example, right? And now we go to letter F. It says, using another transitional phrase, write sentences that explain your third keyword. Now we are starting with the third keyword. So we are repeating the same process, right? We write a sentences explaining the first keyword and then we give an example. We write a sentences that explains the second keyword and then we give another example. We write a sentences that explain the third keyword and then we give another example. Remember that on the example, you have to illustrate what happened, okay, on the example. Okay, let me take a look to this. Let me explain this. Letter D and E. First of all, letter D, it says, Maui is also my favorite place. Let me let me just go back here a little bit. Let me just go back. Which is the second the second keyword? Great weather, right? Great weather. That is the second. I'm sorry. That is the second um, main idea. The second keyword that we have. Great weather. And now we got here. Maui is also my favorite place because the weather the weather is so comfortable, right? Because the weather is so comfortable. It is not hot and not cold and not too cold, right? It says right here. Oh, it's missing a note right here. It's missing a note. It's not too, oh. it's, not, it's not good. I cannot draw. <laughs> okay. So it is not too hot and not too cold. For instance, okay. Take a look to this. This is very, this is very important. This is very important. It says right here. Uh, use a transitional phrase, write a sentence, explain your second keyword, right? And now we, we are saying here, for instance, for instance, is the same as for example, right? You, it's another word that you can use instead of using example over and over, okay? For instance. For instance, every morning, every afternoon, and every evening. So what, we, what are we doing here? We are illustrating, okay? In the morning, in the afternoon, and on the evening. The sun is warm, but there is always a refreshing breeze known as the trade winds. So we are illustrating the S scenario, okay? We are illustrating the S scenario which really makes a person feel in a good mood. Even when it rains in Maui, so we are illustrating what happens when it rains in Maui. The weather is not too cold. It, it still stays warm, okay? So what are we doing? We are illustrating. In other words, we are describing what happens, okay? Why do we think that Maui has a good weather. We are illustrating everything, right? Okay, now letter F is repeating the same process again. We are writing right now on letter F about the three keywords, the third keyword, right? The third keyword. So we say, finally, finally, this is a transitional phrase. Take a look to this. 
it says right here, using another transitional phrase. Finally, it's a transitional phrase, okay? Finally, I like Maui because people, let me take a look first. I, I will go back to, to, to the previous slide. The third, the third keyword, it says right here, the people are friendly, okay? That is my third keyword. Okay, let's go back to the other slide. It says, finally, I like Maui because the people are so friendly, okay? Here is my third keyword, people are so friendly, which makes the atmosphere that much more pleasurable and peaceful, okay? That is my third keyword. And now, let me go to the next slide. Let me go to the next slide. Okay, here. It says letter G. In letter G, we are writing uh, and providing an example for the third keyword, okay? It says write one or two sentences that contain support, supportive, clear, and a specific example for your third keyword, right? So it says right here, this is the transitional phrase to illustrate, okay, to illustrate. Remember this, in the first keyword, I said, for example, right, that was my transitional phrase. In the second keyword, I said, for instance, that was my transitional phrase. And on the third keyword, I'm saying to illustrate, okay, different things. Don't say, for example, for example, and for example, in the three keywords, okay? Do not do that. Try to use a different word that means the same, okay? Now, let's continue. To illustrate, every time I go to a store, a restaurant, so we are illustrating. Take a look. We are illustrating why we think that Maui has good people there. So every time I go to a store or a restaurant or even out on the streets, everybody is always getting you saying, greeting you, sorry, it's always greeting you saying aloha, okay? The local people always have a smile on their face and are always calm with the tourists, okay? So I'm describing the people that live in Maui, okay? I'm describing them because they are very polite. They are good people, okay? I'm illustrating everything. Now on letter H is different. It says, write one concluding sentence, concluding sentence, that will seal off your entire paragraph. It says, in conclusion, for all these reasons, Maui is my favorite place. Now, that is the end of an illustration paragraph. That is the end of an illustration paragraph. Okay, I don't know if you have questions. Questions? I guess it is. it, it goes step by step. And there is a good explanation here. We have a good explanation here. So let's continue with the process paragraph. Can somebody help me read this part, please? This, this slide? Not Milka, not Gabo. They already did it. Somebody else. Uh-huh. Come on. People. Are you, are you sleeping now? Uh, it was only me talking, right? It was only me talking, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but I, 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 I have to explain all of this to you. Okay, should I, should I decide? So I will decide then. Let me take a look here. Ivelisse, can you help me out, please? Okay. Good. Uh, process paragraph. The process analysis paragraph helps basic level and ESL writers share step-by-step -step instructions with their readers. The process analysis paragraph really helps writers stay organized because this type of writing calls for step-by-step -step instruction. The advantage about this type of writing is that it is a how-to type of reading, which means writers can give instructions about any type of how-to. The writer can write about instructions for cooking re recipes, home appliances, work ethic, 
grading assignments, anything that has to do with the how to subject matter. Very good. So the main issue here is the how to, right? Ivalice, thank you very much. It's the how to. We're going to focus on how to, how to do something, right? How to do something. That is why it is a process paragraph. In the previous paragraph, we were illustrating, like, let's call it our, our experience or the place, which is Maui, which was Maui, right? So now we are going to talk about how to do something, okay? Now, let me tell you, uh, people, uh, guys, friends, let me tell you that right now, so the video conference is going to close, right? Because the time is over. So I'm going to close the, the conference just now and please join, join again using the same link, okay? Please join just now. At the same at the same time, you are kick out. Join again, okay? So we are going. We are just going to finish uh, explaining the process paragraph, and that's gonna be it, okay?